guys. How you doing? Well, I'm a little better today. Um, hush up, Sammy. Uh, I'm at my first shop today in uh, Port Charlotte. And I'm at the Tops uh, Back and Sew. So, I took Sammy for a walk. And the coolest thing this morning when we pulled out of Walmart. Uh, hold on. Okay, guys, I just got out of uh, Tops Vac and Sew. And oh my gosh, the machines in there are crazy. I mean, it's like a whole showroom of. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi. I know. I know. Uh, yeah whole room and then you walk to the back and then you have your um, um, material and stuff like that but um, she we were talking and a real nice lady called Cheryl and uh, uh, we spoke for a long time and she asked me if I uh, yeah, something. And I said, well, I'm still old school. I sew mostly by hand because machines scare me. And she proceeded. She said, well, why do machines scare you? And I go, because the underneath gets all bunched up and everything. And so she took me over to a machine. And uh, she said, she said, I can tell you, you, you turn the knob back and forth, right? I said, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and she said, well, that messes up something. And, uh, and she said, uh, and you should always have the, the little arm that goes up and down, you know, that you thread the, the, uh, thread through. You know, the little arm. She says, always, uh, uh, always stop your project when the, the arm is up. So, I hope that makes sense. I don't have a machine here to show you, but, you know, it's that little arm that comes in and, you know, goes up and down, up and down. Anyway, oh, they have material, but a lot of their stuff is machines. And they have one of the um, Sweet Liberty kits for sale. So if you want to, you know, call their uh, store and get it, I think it, she said it's $79. Uh, so, sorry, I don't have any pictures. I, for, I forgot the phone. It was in my van. So, anyway. All right, I'm out of here, and uh, we'll go to the next one. Hey, oh. buddy. It's okay. <coughs> Hi, guys. We're at the White Daisy Quilt Shop. I am <sighs> parked across the parking lot. See, it's like way over there. And uh, the parking isn't that great for this shop. Um, uh, you know, they got a coffee shop right there, and you know how long people stay in the coffee shop, and, um, I don't want to leave Sammy way out here, so I, you know, I'm kind of hang out just to see, you know, someone closer move so I can, uh, get up there. Ugh. Yeah. Ah! Let's see which one is that. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I guess we're gonna have to wait for a while. Well, I could move no, there's a car there. Well Okay. So while I'm waiting here. Uh, yesterday I, I went to, uh, have my oil changed, which I should have done, you know, a, a couple weeks ago. I just have been putting it off. It's not like me, but, you know. 
had things to do. <laughs> so, and then I had my radiator flushed. But I don't know why. I don't know why it smells hot now. I don't know. Um, I talked to my brother last night. I said, uh, Dave, I just hope I... <laughs> I just hope the van lasts long enough for me to get... Ooh, there comes a person. Uh, I hope I, I get up there with the van before... It... <laughs> That's my goal. Anyway, but it's still driving. Uh, so I'm good. I'm good. Oh, people, don't go to the coffee shop. You, yeah, yeah, come out of the quilt store and go to your car. <laughs> I'm willing them with my mind. <laughs> oh, there's one spot I can go. It's up two rows. Hot dog. Oh my gosh, and you're right across the way from it. Of course, they're in the sun, but that's okay. That's okay. Sammy's in the shade. I got his window all the way down. Uh, so, and I am turning the fan on in here on high, and it really keeps the van cool. Not cold, but cool, okay? So, all right, I'll be back. Here in Fort Myers at the Bernina shop and Let's see. Sammy, I'm sorry. You have to get off of that, baby. Um, PJ's uh, Quilts and Long Arm Studio. Um, and I noticed on the door, the quilt shop is in back. So we're going to go in and take a look around and see what they got. And, uh, oh, Lord, there's an ice cream parlor next door. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can, I don't know. We may have to go in and see what that shop's like, okay? Okay, this store was a little weird, um, but that was the shop that I went in first, okay? Ber Bernina, and then you have to, she said you have to walk across the parking lot and go to this store, Quilt Lovers Hangout. Because she didn't have the stamp over there, so I had to drive. So, well, I have my dog in the car, and she says, Well, you should drive over there because I don't have the stuff. <laughs> I'm thinking, All right. So, I left there, I went over to the Colt Lovers uh, hangout, and I come in the door, and no one says boo to me. Nothing. Now, I'm standing around thinking I'm in a empty shop and I'm thinking well maybe that lady is gonna uh hold on maybe that lady was gonna come walk over from the shop over here and I was kind of confused and I took a shot of something a little cloth book okay and then I see something move out of the corner of my eye it's a lady standing there she is uh you know, kind of cutting material, and uh, it's like she, she looked like she did, didn't even know, you know, didn't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I, I don't know, and uh, and so I got my my stamp and my And uh, so she says, Oh, a Navy veteran. Uh, uh, 
were you in the Navy? I'm thinking, no, I just wear the Navy veteran hat for the hell of it. Thinking, yeah, I was. She says, oh, okay, my son was in. And uh, I don't know what she was talking about. He was out of the West Coast. I was at Norfolk, Virginia. We, we had a, another name for it. It sounds a lot like Norfolk. 